Do you find yourself living life with regrets, wondering what could have been? Maybe you're well off with a stable job, but tell me something. Do you feel like you're slowly wasting your life away? Do you have a burning passion that you want to pursue but can't out of fear? Fear of failure? Fear of humiliation? Fear of... Insert your fear here. Let this book show you how to eliminate the fear and create the life you want to live. Society says you're supposed to live a certain way. Get a well-paying job, buy a nice car, own a big house. Sound familiar? What they don't tell you is doing all this will cause you to fall into debt. As a result, you slave away at a job you hate, buying things you don't need, only to impress people you don't care for. Sounds ridiculous, right? And then you start to wonder if this is the life you really wanted. If you've done everything society tells you to do, then why do you still feel so hollow inside? I know the feeling. I've been there before. I've spent many years working in a well-paying job trying to climb the corporate ladder, only to realize I hated what I was doing. Sure, I could have sucked it up to collect a paycheck, but then what? Was this what I wanted for the rest of my life? That was an easy question to answer. Heck no. That's because one day I read a quote that would change how I thought about life forever. Everybody dies, but not everybody lives. Take a moment and let that sink in. Sure, everybody dies, we know that. But why doesn't everyone live? Bronnie Ware, a former nurse who cared for the terminally ill, wrote a very touching article called the five regrets of dying after hearing her dying patients reveal their biggest regrets in life. Here are the five regrets taken directly from the article. Regret number one. I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected of me. Regret number two. I wish I didn't work so hard. Regret number three. I wish I had the courage to express my feelings. Regret number four. I wish I had stayed in touch with my friends. Regret number five. I wish that I had let myself be happier. Do any of these regrets resonate with you? Maybe all of them? After graduating from college in 2004, I struggled with finding my purpose in life. I had a well-paying job but felt lifeless on the inside. For the next few years, I found myself resenting people who were happier than me and had direction in life. To put it simply, I was bitter. My heart was filled with jealousy and envy. How could others be happy while I was miserable? I was no longer motivated. But rather than feel sorry for myself and mope around the house, I decided to do something about it. I was tired of being unhappy and resentful. I needed to take action. I needed to make a change but not just any change. I wanted to make one small change first to try and get myself started. I didn't want to aim for a lofty goal and become discouraged if I didn't achieve it. It was important for me to get started on a good note, and that's exactly what I did. Once I made that change, I continued making one small change after another until it became habitual, and before I knew it, my life started to improve immediately as a result of continuously making small changes. Within two years of following this system, here were some of the goals that I was able to accomplish. I paid off $50,000 worth of debt. I won a startup competition building a product within 54 hours. I left my 9-to-5 job to become an entrepreneur and built a six-figure business within two years. I've taught hundreds of entrepreneurs how to make their first dollar. And most importantly, I've started to live my life with purpose. None of this would have been possible if I didn't start with making one small change. Any change, no matter how big or small, is a start. And as long as you start, you're on your way.